back to CNR reviews today. It's uh, Chris and Rock. Chris and Rock. Yeah, still yeah. CNR. Actually. Still CNR. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is my Alpha Outpost box. Just got it in. Got a little bit bent up at UPS, but uh, hopefully it's not damaged. Yeah, right. It feels pretty light, so I'm really wondering what this is. Yeah, I'm so. too. I'm curious. What is uh, Alpha Outpost again? It's um. It's monthly outdoor gear. So yeah, it's a monthly it's, subscription. It's a monthly thing. subscription box. I think this one's fifty bucks. And I found out about this through uh, Grunt Style wearing one of the oh, shirts yeah. right now. I signed up for the club. Gotcha. And my first shipment, they sent me a like a brochure almost, oh, yeah. like one of those cards, cards yeah. advertising it. Better be awesome gear. It says warning, awesome gear. <laughs> shit. Oh, okay. shit. We're just talking about some sharp reach stuff. Sharp stuff. All right, so I, apparently this is called a comma. I'll get it out in a second, oh, nice. but it's like a little scythe. Ooh. And it's they. The cool thing I do like about these boxes is they make <laughs> custom patches for all their boxes. Yeah. So this one actually says comma on the skull. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool patch. I like getting new patches. Patches are cool. Hell yeah. So let me cut these down. Yeah, let's get them all. Zip ties. So it looks like a mini scythe. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Dude, that's it's already cool. wrapped with paracords. That's nice. Hell yeah. Okay, this looks wild. What the hell would you? What the hell would you do this? This is a, this is the zombie weapon. Right <laughs> that's here. what it is for real now. Ooh, it's like a little neck knife, bro. Look, it's got like a kind of chain that you have uh, dog tags on. Oh, oh, that's cool. Look at that, bro. Fucking that dagger. Hell? It's like hard plastic. Oh yeah, sheets, like the you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I like Kydex because the way it locks stuff in, you can right. mount it any way, any which way. And yeah. With this thing being so in, it's gonna flop out. Oh, this is different. That's badass, bro. That is. That's cool as hell. And it's fucking sturdy, man. It's thick. That's like a little mini uh, talon, you know, like those yeah. little raptor talons. Uh huh. A crazy looking tool. Seriously. It looks like a pterodactyl head. With the eyeball right here. Yeah. <laughs> the cool thing about these though is they don't just ship them to you and you don't know what it is. Yeah. They this card tells you about it and yeah. it actually tells you the history of what these oh, what nice. these are. Oh that's awesome. So it says the Kama is one of the classic poor farmers' weapons, which became very common in Japan during the era of Shogunate. So it says the Kama was developed on the island of Okinawa to the south of the mainland. Very quickly spread throughout the Japanese islands after its inception as a weapon somewhere around 1300 AD. Hmm. And then for the neck knife, it says, what is a neck knife? A neck knife is a small mid-sized knife that you can wear on a chain or string around your neck. This type of knife provides you with a blade that's always on you. It can be used for survival purposes, but it can also be used as a form of protection without being obvious to those around you. Three reasons to wear a neck knife. One, easy to carry. No pockets, backpacks, belts necessary because everyone's got a neck. <laughs> if you're alive, you got a neck. Oh, right. Unless you 800 pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always in reach. So basically just ease of access. Right, yeah. You yeah. don't have to have, like, you can have jogging shorts on or a swim trunk mm. on or whatever. Right, it doesn't right. have pockets. Or I love getting these, uh, the boxes with the knives and swords and right. tomahawks and that kind of thing. But anyways. Yeah, good box, man. Hell yeah. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys watching. And uh, stay tuned for our next one. We got a uh, battle box that we're going to be opening uh, here in the next couple of days as well. All right. See you guys. See you.